this is Gail at Gail Julie Makes. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had some crafting time. Um, so today I'm going to do a bit more work using the alcohol lifting technique with some stamps on the jelly plate. Um, so I've tried a little bit of this before but I wanted to just experiment further and then actually lift the ink um, and the print with some um, acrylic paint which I didn't do last time. So um, I'm hoping we're going to get some nice results. Uh, it's been one of those days today, a bit annoying. I've I just bought um, a set of stamps, obviously talking about stamping because we've got some stamps we're using today. Just bought a, a stamp that I've been wanting for ages from Lavinia Stamps. Um, it's a big stamp. Um, I bought it for like the two little ones really in the set and I've lost one of the little ones. So I'm <laughs> really gutted. But I am going to be placing another Lavinia Stamps order tomorrow So because I've got some new new ones coming out. So I'm probably going to have to reorder it because I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. So just a word of warning, if you're using stamps, especially if, you, you know, if you're using them on your gel plate as well, because we use them for lots of different purposes, then look after your little ones because it could be anywhere. It could be on the bottom of a sock. It could be... I don't know, on the back of my picture, that's the one place I haven't checked my picture that I took downstairs, the, you know, the final version. So I'm hoping it's there, but I really don't think it will be. So um, just a bit of my annoyance from the day. <laughs> anyway, OK, so let's get on with it. So I've got my alcohol inks. They're all um, Ranger ones. I've got some Dina Wakely acrylic painting buff to lift. I've got my alcohol lift ink um, to actually take some of the ink off that I'm putting down. And I've also got my um re her because I want to try and sort of sprinkle some of that on and see if I can pull it off um see if that will have a nice effect then I've got some embossing folders I've got my brayer out and I've got some stamps I've also got a um a poppy seed head from my dad's allotment just to see whether we can get a nice effect on the top here um, using the alcohol lift ink just just for an, an extra pattern really just for a bit of an experiment I have got some of the stamps that I might bring in as well um, I've got my Lavinia set there with the the one that I'm missing one I'll show you that in a minute so that's um, that's gonna I'm gonna use the big stamp of that one as well so we'll see how we get on okay so first things first I'm not gonna use any of the hand gel in this one which I sometimes use to lay my inks I am going to use um, just a layer of alcohol ink and then some more on the top We'll see what we get. So we're going to need. So this is the, this is the stamp set that I was on about. So um, that's, I like this one, but I can't. I couldn't really see myself using it a lot. But the these were the two little stamps that I really wanted in the set. So I still got that one. <laughs> Managed to retain that one. But this is the one that's missing, which is really gutting. Never mind. And then we're going to need some um, brayer and off paper which I have got some here. I've just got too many things on this desk. So, But Hubby is putting up some shelves for me soon above the desk so I can get a lot of this cleared off. So that's good news. So let's just prop those up there for now. Right then, so what I'm going to do first job is I am going to get some alcohol ink laid, alcohol ink laid down on the plate. Um, let's go for... Go for a bit of honeycomb, that's my favourite colour. So I'm just using a six inch round gel plate. Okay, so I've got a bit of that on, and I'm just going to spray, spray that across just as a base layer. Okay, because obviously we're not using the hand gel this time. Rub some of that off. Okay, and I'm going to go in, let's just get that, that ready, and maybe that one as well. Then I'm going to go in with some of the colours. So let's get a bit of rust on here. Just sprinkling it on. And we'll get a bit of um, citrus. Is my one of my honeycomb and citrus? I think are my favourite colours at the moment. Okay. And a bit of um, pool. Right, and then what we're going to do then is we're going to, I'm basically going to try and build a scene with this. So I think I've got some embossing folders like I said, so I'm going to give this a go. I don't know how well it's going to work. Obviously we're going to use the raised the raised area on the embossing folder. And I'm going to get my alcohol lifting pad and I'm just going to 
go over, press that on. So I'm just pressing that onto my plate. Sorry, the lighting is not great today. We're doing this a bit later in the day, so because I was probably was out trying to find shelves, but didn't really didn't really manage to get the sort that we wanted. Okay, so obviously that's going to have. Um, it's not going to be as clearly pulled off as maybe with the stamps, just because of the nature of the fact that it's an embossing folder it's not quite as easy to get the ink onto but I'm happy that I can see some of the design there right then I'm going to get in some let's try our Lavinia stamp so this is that one I was talking about I'm going to get on the block um, I do really like this stamp it's just that um, couldn't really see myself using it that often but it was one of those that you know you know it's a beautiful stamp so you want it in your collection but like I say those two little ones so I'm just putting the alcohol lifting pad across it now okay those two little ones absolutely gorgeous and I'm just going to press that on okay just press it lightly You can see some of the ink starting to attach to the stamp there, so it's actually pulling it off. Okay, and then we'll. You get a nice effect just actually using this as your stamp as well on your side there. Now, if you're worried about that, you can give it a squirt. If you're worried about your stamp, suggest just giving it a squirt of water and giving it a bit of a clean before it before it dries on. But I'm not I'm not the most precious person with my stamps, I must admit. So should be fine. Okay, and then we'll go for um I've got these really nice Macintosh stamps that I haven't used yet. And I've used one of them I think so far, but I absolutely love Charles Rennie Macintosh. So I've got these in like a, a bundle. We'll get it on our plate, on our block, sorry. And then I'm just going to ink up again in the alcohol lift ink. Okay, everything's getting in the way. Like I say, not much room on this desk at the minute. And then I'm going to press that on. Lovely stamp, this one, really beautiful. Okay, and we'll ink that off there. Going for another one because it's just too pretty not to do it again. I don't know if you can still get these Macintosh stamps. I've never really uh, seen them anywhere, to be honest. Um, but they are really pretty. So I'm just pressing down and taking that off. So... What we'll do is we'll leave that one to dry for a little while. I see some elements on there. We'll see what that one turns out like. Okay, so I'm going to bring another plate in. I have got my um, 8x10 gel press plate. So we're going to leave that one to dry just so we can lift it with the alcohol ink. Uh, sorry, the acrylic paint, I should have said. Duh. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to get some down on this plate. So I think I'm going to go for a background. Um, let's go for... Let's go for patina as the background. Okay. Now I'm not going to use the whole of this plate. Because that would just take forever. So I'm going to bray that. Just so we've got a bit of something to lay it onto. So we're not using the hand gel this time. Okay. And then I am going to... Let's go for... Um, let's go for some eggplant. And 
go for a bit of rust. And we'll go for some honeycomb again. I love that noise it makes when you're sprinkling it on. Love it. <coughs> and then we've got patina in the excuse me, we've got patina in the background, but I'm just gonna add some more some more onto there. Okay. And I'm just going to see um, see what happens when we use a bit of the flick a bit of the alcohol lift ink on here. So you you know you need to make sure best to make sure you've got a window open at this stage. And I'm just going to flick a bit of this on just to give us some sort of dots. And then I'm just going to a little bit of tissue here. I'm just going to dab away with my tissue just to get some effects on there already so you can see we're starting to build up a bit of a bit of a pattern there already which I quite like and then I'm going to use the Carabelle Studio embossing folder and get a bit of alcohol lifting again onto the raised area so I'm feeling for that bit that looks feels like it's sticking up rather than it's you know trap but it's kind of um, under now, I don't seem to get a lot of I think whether I need to re-ink might need to re-ink my, um, my alcohol lifting pad I think doesn't seem to be the uh, the juiciest at the moment and then we're just going to place that down and pull that off that looks quite interesting and look at that that looks so pretty on there like that really liking that okay so i'm just going to put that down on here and we should have a nice a nice sort of little um build up on our brayer and off sheet that we can use for a collage at some point yeah looking nice so a little bit more on there but Okay, so I'm going to leave it just with that one of imprint from that, but then I am going to bring in another stamp, which is, um, oh, who's this one by? I'm trying to remember now. I can't actually remember because I've, oh, there's a little blocks. I can't remember the, I think it might be Creative Expressions, this stamp. This is part of a set that I've got that, um. But I've kind of taken it out of the set for quite a while now and it's just sitting on my desk and I just use it quite often. So if I just go in and just take out some bits. I don't know how well this one's going to show up against the one we've done, but we will give it a go. Doesn't look like it's actually pulling much off, so... Uh, let's just see if I can get some... Pop a bit of this re-inker on the actual pad. There we go, it's all gone down the side. Don't. So I'll get that off. Okay, so re-ink that, I'll let that dry for a minute. So this one looks like it's drying fairly quickly. Let's go go back to the other one. That's the other one. I think we can probably leave it slightly longer that one it's looking like it's still quite tacky so I'm going to go in with the this one again and we'll just go for some of those areas that look a bit wetter Right then, so that's those two, so again I'm going to move that out of the way, that is definitely, there's definitely some, I think what I'm going to do is just mop up those areas that look a bit wet, because I don't want to spend too long before I lift this, so I'm going to go in, 
you can kind of tell if you look, if you move the plate where the wet areas are still so I mean you know you might be patient I'm not very patient when I'm making these videos so um, depends exactly what sort of effect you're going for really okay so what I'm going to do then is just go over this not got the best tissue paper today okay left a few marks so it's still a bit tacky but I think I'm gonna risk it and give it a risk it for a biscuit and we'll give it a go okay so I'm gonna lay a bit of the the buff and we're doing you know we're going for that thin layer that we we go for when we're gel printing okay let's do that underneath so I don't get rid of that really nice print Nice thin layer there. There we go. Blow that off, and then I'm just going to get a piece of card for this. I'll try not to knock everything over. I've put my card in a really silly spot today. Okay, and uh, we'll go in. Um, I'm not really that fussed about it being in the centre today because I'll probably cut this out anyway, to be honest. So I'm just going to give that a rub. Okay, peel that off. Ooh, very faint. Hmm, that's kind. I like it, but it's not really picked up, has it? Interesting. So let's get another. Maybe I've gone way too thin on the paint. So let's try that again with a thicker layer don't get it all down the side if you gel plate oh look at that what it's just one of them days <laughs> that's way too thick a layer Put, wasted loads of paint there and i've gone over my nice print oh, never mind it kind of looks quite cool like that Right, we'll go for that. We'll see. We'll see what we think. Acrylic paint everywhere. That's no good. I'm just going to pull it on the same sheet. Ah, yes, that's much better. Okay. So although you can't really see that much of what I've done, you've got the stamp in there, look. So we did a way too thin a layer of the acrylic paint there, basically. So, you know, I know it works better when you're doing your image transfer and stuff, but when you're using the alcohol inks, just use a slightly thicker layer of acrylic. So I'm pleased with that one. I really like that one. Lovely. Um, nice sort of botanical feel to it, that one. Right, so let's get rid of that. I've not got... I'm not being very organised today, I must admit. So let's bring this one back into play. So we know now we're going to have to put a much thicker layer of the buff acrylic. So let's get a nice, make sure we're getting a much thicker layer on here. Okay. Now again, this one, yeah, I can tell this one hasn't completely dried because, just because of how the paint lay over it then. Right, so let's try that. Let's give that a whirl. I'm not covered the whole plate, obviously, because, like I said, I'm not. <coughs> I'm not doing the whole. I don't don't need the whole pitch. The the whole a well eight by ten section, I should say. Okay, and then let's just move the top of that with a piece of card. See what we get. Hope we get a really nice pool like that other one. Oh yeah, interesting. Oh, I'm liking that. Yes, I love it. So that's a really interesting pool, that one. Obviously, you can't see much, but you've got a really faint detail, and I love the way it looks like you've got lots of layers there, when in fact you've only actually got the, well, you've got three. You've got the initial alcohol ink, 
then you've got the alcohol ink you've um, poured on top. So you, we braid the first layer of alcohol ink, then we've got the poured alcohol ink, and then we've got the um, alcohol lift ink, okay, and the acrylic. So I suppose if you add the alcohol lift ink as an extra layer, you've got you've got four layers really. So loving that, really really nice background. Reminds me of like you know rusty wall, rust, well wallpaper layers and rust and that sort of thing. So. Um, I think I will probably carry on maybe building up on this one and covering the whole sheet. I'd like to do this one on um, rice paper as well so I can get it into my um, Bly Manor sketchbook because I think that, that really makes me think, like I say, of all those layers of the old wallpaper. Okay, so we've got two, two successful pulls there. Um, even though we can't ne necessarily see lots of detail, I think they both, you know, they both lend themselves well to um, interesting, interesting backgrounds or even just interesting prints on their own. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Obviously, we did learn that um, you need a thicker layer of the acrylic paint for these. But, um, you know, it's all about experimentation. We don't always do the perfect thing. Um, the one thing I did actually, let me just try this really, really quickly because... Um, I just think it'd be interesting. Sorry, I know I try not to make my videos too long, even though they always are. <laughs> um, so we'll just layer. We'll, I just wanted to try that that seed head that I was talking about. So I'm going to layer some honeycomb. Okay, and I'm just going to layer over the top a little bit of rust, I think, and some citrus. Let's just try that. What I'll probably do is um, whiz this on a bit for you, just so you don't have to watch the whole, you know, waiting for it to dry process. Okay, so there we go. Um, right, so let's get... Now I like that flicked alcohol lifting effect, so if I just flick a bit on, just to sort of take take some bits off this is a bit like obviously when we're using the UPO paper and then I'm just going to go in and take some of it off okay not all of it because obviously we want some to go into go onto the poppy head now I don't know how well this is going to take to this this seed head at all and I don't really want to don't want to break it <clears throat> but I'm just going in on the end with it there and I'm just going to do some indents. To be honest, we probably don't even need the alcohol lifting because it's, the way it's shaped, it's kind of naturally, um, it's naturally imprinting on there anyway. So I'm just going to keep doing this and move it around because I'm moving the ink around actually at the same time. So it could give us a really interesting effect. I love using things like this as well because obviously this means, you know, this means a bit more to me because it's, I remember collecting these off my dad's allotment last year, in the year before last actually now, to use in some of my artwork. Um, and they do, they're such pretty things, poppy seed heads, well all, all flowers seed heads I think are beautiful to be honest. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do then is just dab off some of those areas that look a bit wetter. Obviously that will get rid of some of the effects, but that's fine, I'm not very fussed. Okay. Right, and we'll just, I'll, I'll whiz that on while it's drying and then we'll get some um, acrylic over the top. Okay. Okay, so I've decided, it's probably not dry, but I'm going for it anyway, because I'm impatient, as you know. So I'm just going to get a bit more on there, actually. I think because it's not dry, it's uh, sucking it up a lot more as well. 
So patience is a virtue, but when it comes to showing you guys, I'm not necessarily always that patient. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We'll go with that. Let's just blow off another layer because I don't want to ruin that part of my uh, potential collage paper. Okay, put that out. So we're going to go for it. Okay. Oh, not quite got all of it on the page, never mind. Not the end of the world. I can trim the bottom off there. Okay, let's see what we get. Ready? Hmm. Interesting. So, we can see some really faint areas there of the poppy seed head and some there some more there so yeah i'm liking that that's a, another really nice little grungy background hmm some stamping on top of that thing would look really nice to be honest so um i do hope you've enjoyed this video anyway just a bit of an experimentation it's um i'm still quite tired from looking after our cat who's um doing much better thankfully but we're still you know we're still we're still a bit worried um so i just wanted to come up and have a play on the gel plate for you know half an hour or so um so anyway um do hope you'll get some more crafting time if you'd like to watch some more of my videos i'll leave a video bottom left that i think you might be interested in and top left here is my profile picture if you click on that you can subscribe to my channel as i say i'm always uploading more gel plate videos they just haven't been as often this last week or two because of my cat being poorly but i usually to do try and do sort of two or three videos at least a week so um i hope you'll come along and join me and please do drop me any comments i, I love reading your comments and responding to them so um take care anyway guys happy crafting and i'll see you in the next one bye for now